Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa Channel 408. Tea Time is an entertainment analysis show that covers everything important in the industry about your favorite personalities and also covers the biggest stories in the world of entertainment and lifestyle. Today is fun packed with a lot of hot topics to analyze and personalities to talk to. But to do this with me is my namesake, Ifalo Oshike, and the baby girl, Ayatemi Shomolu. <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's good, it's good. It's Great. Good. Hi. It's been a blessed weekend. How's yours been? Uh, like the weekend was blessed for me. Yeah, I mean, I use it to recover for the most part. So mm. I was very in bed, now, much better. It's great to have you back. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> I watched the show of you guys. It was really fun. I couldn't. Mm. I was I was too wild by how if I was gushing over <laughs> whiskey, but um, yeah, yeah, words. okay. I've never missed the team as much as that um, day. That day. <laughs> I couldn't wait to rub it all in your face. <laughs> we went one million streams in like five hours, yeah. and right now we're over ten million streams on Spotify. Don't rush us yeah. now. We're, mm, we're getting, we're getting now. there. <laughs> Okay, let's calm down. <laughs> All right. You're coming down like this. Let's, like, yeah, like, you know? <laughs> let's go. All right. How are you? How was yours? How um, did you my weekend to? was great. I spent time with some friends. I had some photo shoots. It was fun. I could tell you did your hair. Yeah, yeah. Okay. switched it up a little bit. <laughs> but you say fun with friends. What did you guys do? Details. Just hanging out, we went swimming, just talking, watching movies on Halloween night. So we had a scary movie night. Just Cute Aww. little things with my friends. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you want it to be. I used you know, to think I was in your friend be. list, but it's okay. I think I agree. I didn't get any invitations. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> next <laughs> next year, I'll win, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But I can't believe how quickly the year has gone by. We're already in November. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Very here crazy. We are. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna we're gonna be starting off the show with a topic centered around social media, uh, and this is a tool that has been extremely vital to the youths and the voices at large. Please feel free to lend in your voice and contribute to the show by sending in your messages via WhatsApp on 0906 0906 So bringing it home, veteran Nigerian musician Two-Face Idibia has lambasted, I like that word, <laughs> I love it. has lambasted the Nigerian government over internet regulations through a social media bill. The federal government of Nigeria has passed a social media bill titled Protection from Internet Falsehood and Manipulations and Other Related Matters Bill 2019, which is intended at controlling the flow of information across social media networks. So Tumaba, however, um, criticized the government for being irresponsible until the 11th hour before realizing the effects of information across social media. Your thoughts? I agree, like, I agree with his concerns. The government had no problem with social media until people started coming for them online more frequently. Mm. And that's when suddenly they want to restrict our freedom of speech via social media. I don't understand it. I think that they should just free us. The people have the rights to vent. The people have the rights to be upset. Whether they choose to express it on social media or in person, it's up to them. It mm. shouldn't be up to the government. At all. Um, I, I wish we could play the video um, where he was... He kept, uh, what's the word? Who is he? Two-Face. Two-Face. Mm -hmm. Comparing it to China and how China has been able to successfully do that. I mean, I was with him in the, in the righteous anger, but we need to understand that China is a communist mm. um, society. Yeah. No, I think, I we're think, not a communist society. I think, I think we're missing the point of what Two-Face Olivia was saying. Right? I think we don't what? have any idea what China is. That's why we would compare it to begin no, with. No, you cannot... he's, he's not comparing China with uh, controlling our social media bill. Now, Two-Face was talking to the government mm -hmm. that, look, regulations could have started from the beginning, mm -hmm. from the inception of social media. When Instagram came to Nigeria, when Facebook came to Nigeria, when Twitter came to Nigeria, it's talking about tech gurus all over the world, in China, in other parts of the world, that have been able to innovate their own personal social media where they have some sort of um, control over it. So he's not talking about how... Um, the regulation is talking about from the inception you could have I done actually, this I... by investing in the tech industry and making sure that our tech gurus were able to create their own applications you know do stuff that way you would have mm. more control over it that's exactly what a lot of people didn't get it. i'm not sure because that's what i got either that, that's i not, think that's he was making reference to china no. 
based off the fact that yep. if you wanted to restrict it, you could have restricted yeah, it a long, a long time, time ago, ago like China yes. did. Yes. China is fully restricted with their social fully media. Fully restricted. And don't if, have you, you have to remember it's why so, he's only mentioning China. You cannot tell me that these ideas that you're talking about, that, okay, um, um, tech, uh, IT people, they, they have them in America. Mm -hmm. They have them in Canada. They have them in well-developed countries. Mm -hmm. The difference is that those countries are democratic. You so you're not even people. allowed to do that. Yeah. So um, there is, it's, no, it's it nothing like making... To, even if you yeah. make your own social me media bill, even if you're wrong with your theory of say, making your own social media bill, there will still be fake news and there will still be trolls. You and they'll still, So you can't stop that. So they, mm. he's not talking about making a safer platform. He's saying restrict them, but restrict them early. You should have, <laughs> you should have restricted them early. To me, that that doesn't. I think he's saying well. if you wanted to restrict them, you, you should, should have, have restricted, restricted them, them early. early. No, he's not saying restrict no, them. He said the yeah. true restriction is actually given investing in your tech industry that that is a true restriction well that's what i got to because me i understand still PG. still <laughs> still 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 you cannot restrict a democratic society mm. that is a problem mm. so it, it's you have what, what we need to do if i was going to if, I, if they asked me for my opinion which they wouldn't but if i was what you need to do is then um what's it called police um, the the users creates more verified platforms mm -hmm. that you can use teach people how to identify fake news um, who to acknowledge as fact and, and fiction what is an opinion what it you know you can start to make um, a lot more emphasis on that mm -hmm. and then you can you can maybe flag you can work with Instagram or whoever to start flagging um, hate speech and flagging all yeah, of that even Instagram has made a lot exactly of, um, all um, these rules apps on have that. Their yes. so I don't so think if you're talking about that it. type of restriction yes but that is not what this bill is about. Mm -hmm. This bill is, <laughs> this bill, let me give you a, a, a good example of what it would be if it was implemented. So if you say, like, if you look at the Nigerian Army Twitter official verified page, it says that everything about the Lekki Massacre is fake news. Exactly. And it's still on there. It's a Nollywood movie. Mm -hmm. It is still on there till now. So if this bill was passed, it means that every other person who has tweeted about the Lekki Massacre has committed a crime and can be arrested. Exactly. That's the type of restriction that we're so talking about. So it goes about. completely against us and it's yeah. for them. So it's, it's selfish. Not, as long as, because the thing about truth as well is that it's relative. So if, if you think that, well, sometimes it can be played relative, especially in the hands of someone who wants to actually cover the truth. Exactly. So if, if, if I say that that's my truth, Truth. But then authority says that that's false. I can be persecuted for that. Period. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> Please, uh, we don't want any of that. Still in the spirit of frustrations of Nigerians, a Nigerian singer, Simi, is basically pleading with the youths against raining curses on politicians' children over their parents' misbehavior. This is off the backs of the movement against police brutality, hashtag and SARS. Um, angry Nigerian youth have taken to insulting the politicians and their children. Let me rephrase that. Some Nigerian mm -hmm. youth. Thank you for that. Simi <laughs> tweeted and said, I feel like we really shouldn't be raining curses on the children of these people. I understand the agitation and the most and that most of them don't care about us. But the goal is to be better than them. And I can't imagine it is good for the mental health of these kids, well, the politicians' kids. Mm. We can rise we can rise above it. <laughs> uh, this one for me is very interesting. Why? Um, and I wasn't like hundred percent eating up the the lullaby that she was singing. <laughs> <laughs> because um, the reason I didn't do it 100% was because, first of all, I think for younger children who don't have any say in who they were, even if they want to do something right, they can't. Mm -hmm. But I think when I start thinking about older children, who are not children anymore, like adults, like a good example would be the Tinubu family. Like, I'm not saying that everyone deserves curses, or, but those people are grown. They've taken over um, businesses. They have authorities in their own rights. If those people are still deliberately now with the with the knowledge and the power and the privilege still walking in the in the foot of their parents in a negative way then i think they deserve what goes for them <laughs> but for somebody who's like 16 has traveled abroad has lived the best life and is enjoying her parents money even though the money is off the backs of poor people i don't know how she can or he can control that or do anything about it do you know what i mean like even myself i wish that i was born into a richer family sometimes 
<laughs> or like, you know, like, maybe Canada or something. I don't know. So you can't really control that. So there's a lot of things that you can't control, but that only lasts for so long. So th does that still mean that anyone deserves to rain curses on anybody? Yeah. No. But I, I'm not a strong believer of karma. I don't think it happens all the time. But I think that we don't need curses for them to reap the fruits of their labor yeah. anyway. Um, cursing somebody on Twitter has not changed. I've got some trolls and that has not Done shifted nothing. anything. Nothing. <laughs> like, I'm still good. But um, I think that they will get their own like you know their own nemesis when when the time is right yeah i think that people should carry on holding people responsible for their issues and things like that but i agree with Simi in the sense that we can be upset we can be frustrated but when it comes i guess this depends on the individual for me it's more of like an ethical and moral thing mm. raining curses on someone from generation to generation because people have said some nasty things about yep. politicians and their family and completely cursed them to the extent of like and there's a still dip in the hand in our coffers. <laughs> and it's, it's bad. And I think With all maybe the <laughs> I think maybe Simi being a new mom and everything is be okay. she's becoming yeah. a little more sensitive to those things. And it's like I w can't imagine anyone cursing my child like this based off something that I did. So mm. we should hold the politicians responsible, but taking their children, taking down to their children, I'm not sure, especially when it comes to cursing. But can um, I throw? Okay, sure. go. Um, personally, mm -hmm. I think that regardless of the age, right, I didn't choose what family I'm supposed to be born or I, I, I'm born into, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So if I'm born into a family where my dad is a corrupt politician, the least... you grow up to be corrupt, you are also safe. I'm not talking about growing up to okay. be corrupt. Okay, instead now, of right? all It could go either way. <laughs> yeah, it could know, go either. I really don't care. Good. So if my dad has used his corrupt money to send me to school, mm. but I'm not partaking in it. Yeah. And um, I'm having, I'm able to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with my dad from time to time, you know, trying to tell him about how to better situation. Mm. And he's not doing it like I've, I've tried, but mm. he's still not doing because mm. it's just who he is. I, I was born to become who I am, right? And he is who he is. Mm. So um, at the end of the day, there so is let me no, ask you really quickly. If, they, no, that, if your case was turned around where the, the man grows up, and he's not a good guy. He's he's if anything, he's contributing to his father's corruption. So um, yes, um, let's <laughs> let's mess things up more. What would your take um, be? Then? I I I I uh, I think uh, it's very relatable. Sometimes loyalty and family they're very very complicated situation, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to family. It's very dicey. I may have a brother who has been convicted of murder. Would he stop me from loving him? He wouldn't, mm -hmm. right? I would still visit him in jail. The society will look at him different. So if I grow up to be like my dad and I'm still contributing to it in some type of way, I wouldn't want to put the whole blame on that person because at the end of the day, it's you didn't choose your family. And sometimes you just have to show well, loyalty. Well, you chose your actions. And yeah, but you just have to show loyalty in a certain sense. But I'm getting to the point where, um, before you ask that question, what I was trying to say was, um, if I'm born to that type of family and then my dad is corrupt, like you said, what if I didn't turn out bad? Mm -hmm. I become a medical practitioner. I'm, I'm doing stuff overseas and I'm doing that. And you're still raining courses. Like now, imagine if, um, for, hypothetically speaking, let's use the Tinubu family exam, uh, as an example and what has been going on with them. You know, people calling out Shei Tinubu. Mm. And no one actually knows if a Shei Tinubu is involved and is getting cursed out. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have your facts right, don't curse my child. If I'm, if I'm an armed robber and then you see my child on the road and you shoot my child because your dad is an armed robber. What does mm. the child is innocent? He doesn't know my crimes. He probably doesn't even know my business. I call Shei Tinubu a child. In this particular scenario, you're not I'm listening asking, to me, are I'm you? Just, I'm asking. Uh, no, I'm not calling Shay okay. Tunubu a child. All I'm saying is that let's leave the kids out of it, like yeah. she was saying. Let the causes or whatever way you feel about it go to the parents. But now, I'm, I don't want to bring the Tunubu fan because I, that's why I said hypothetically of course, speaking. Of course, it's an example. And, yeah, yeah so, probably exactly. the most famous. So I, I probably <laughs> won't be able to answer that question if Shay Tunubu is a child. I don't know him personally. I don't know his mental capacity. No, but you know Shay Tunubu is, is not a child. He's an I, adult. I don't know. There a lot of grown men adult, in, 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 that are kids. <laughs> if an adult starts from 18, so anyone who's above 18 is not a child Why anymore. mental capacity? <laughs> <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> we know he's functional. 
We know he owns things. He's functional. He's a functioning. Do you know about Shea eating Well, I'm talking material. about children now. If uh, it's not a, a mental health capacity. <laughs> well, that's how children start for me. I can see a 40 year old man that's that is still a child to me. Mm. I guess, just I mean, me. he's still someone's child, I guess. You get like what I mean? That, I, 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 I think that they, they, you can't hide behind um, family and loyalty forever. I think at some Definitely. point you will become your own person and you would make True. your own decisions. There are some things that I've called my mom on, uh, called my mom out on. Like, mom, I, I really oh, don't should, yeah. agree to this. Sometimes I will even, I mean, it, the kind of, the way I'm wired, in front, of, in front of people, in public, we stand together with my mom, like, no doubt. But when we go back inside, sometimes I'll say that I really mm. didn't appreciate that or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I won't go back. So so I mean, know that go back. Let me Tinubu is not doing that wait, same now, thing yeah, inside. Yeah, I mean, fact, Do you understand? Let's hear, let's hear you go. We let's moved on you from you because yours was a bit all over the place about <laughs> children and who's the age. And I'm talking about, I'm not saying that, even, I don't even go as far as going back to that person mm -hmm. and say, no, I'm really sorry about that. And we, you know, trying to correct that wrong if I think that that thing was very wrong. Mm -hmm. And we're all capable of doing that. It doesn't matter your, <laughs> what we're trying to, your a mental, mental, except you're capacity. actually mentally deranged, mm -hmm. which is not part of this conversation at all. You still have a say in who you want to be, what you stand for, loyalty or not. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, I, that's why I mentioned mm -hmm. in the beginning of the conversation that with children, mm -hmm. and that's 18 and younger, there's no, there's no mix up of what a child is. With children 18 and younger, it's very different because even if they In want politics, to, even if they want <laughs> to, um, they, they don't game. have they don't have any rights, right? Because children are supposed to be protected. They don't have a right to even comprehend what's going on. Even if they do, how do they come out to say that? On what means and what platform? Sorry, quickly, so, I need to touch on what. Um, Ayotim has spoken as well. See me being a new mom, you need to be more sensitive, sensitive. because I'm sure she will... Nobody's perfect. We all have our, our, our demons. Mm -hmm. We all have our secrets and all. So she probably she probably, she probably wouldn't want somebody to cuss out her child. Like, let's, for instance, when she spoke about the Yahoo boy thing, and she spoke about... So imagine people now saying that, may your child become Yahoo too, you know? Mm -hmm. She'll feel some type of way, you get me? Please, please. parents, you feel some type of way more than your parents. I don't know these people that I'm talking to today. Please, get, your, get your facts together. <laughs> That try and be a better person. There is a lot of suffering that these politicians have cursed. I've cursed the, the whole city, and there's generations that are stuck in that. So, so even if you're a child, you're a parent, you're an adult, your brain is working right, it's not working right, try and be part of the good change. Even if you can get your dad to get him to do better, you know, we need that type of support mm -hmm. if you can. Tea time will be right back. Please <laughs> stay tuned. There's more.